So, hello everyone, this is Giorgio Fiorelli, and I'm inviting you to uh, the webinar that I will deliver next Saturday. And this uh, will be regarding mandibular repositioning of, uh, with inpatients with class 2 and asymmetries. And during this webinar, we will have uh, five hours of theoretical background discussion uh, and a lot of clinical cases. Uh, and uh, an, an interesting part of this uh, clinical cases will be the discussing the discussion about the mechanics that I have been using in order to stabilize the new occlusion. So in many of those cases, we have completely changed their occlusal pattern. And here I wanted to give you an example of the things that we will go discussing. This is a patient that had originally a deviation to the left side and was repositioning like this to the right. And here we are in the stage where um, the occlusion is capped by this material that you see here, which is dry gel. Uh, now at this stage, the patient that was uh, uh, class three tendency, she had not enough overjet to keep this position. Probably her overjet would have been close to zero. And for this reason, uh, we had to bring to increase the overjet, and the plan was to uh, produce uh, a movement that was, uh, if possible, by translation or even better, so with the force uh, with this direction passing through the CR, or even better, higher, and with some extrusor component. Uh, to reduce the uh, open bite. In order to get this force vector here, we have created a two vector mechanics, which is given by a cantilever producing uh, a force which is inclined probably around 45 degrees. So this line of action of the force is passing above the CR, creating a moment in this direction, plus this vertical elastic, that will transform this force in a vector like this, but also with this, with this angulation. But also this um, anterior elastic are producing a moment in the same direction that you see as counterclockwise. So all in all, we are creating a system which is bringing the anterior teeth uh, buckley but making them steeper. You might see the result of this mechanics. This is uh, uh, about a couple of months between these two pictures here. Let's say one and two. And as you see, the incisor uh, now have um, enough overjet. And in spite of the fact that we have reduced the height here of the material, so probably the, the mandible has rotated and um, naturally it would have, we would have had even less overjet. Uh, so <clears throat> now what we see here that we have the overjet, but the interesting thing, if you look at this area here, and this area here, that I really have the impression that the incisor are steeper than they were before. So my hope, this is to be confirmed with the X-ray, is that I've been bringing the apex more forward than what I did with the crowns. So thank you for your attention and I hope to uh, meet you at this webinar next Saturday. Thank you.